I want to read you a couple of verses today from Psalm 89, reading from the New Living Translation. It's it's a psalm of Jeduthon, Jeduthon, or of Ethan. I have a son named Ethan, um, and he says that. Listen to the first two verses. I will sing of the tender mercies of the Lord forever. Young and old will hear of your faithfulness. Your unfailing love will last forever. Your faithfulness is as enduring to the heavens. And then verse 8, O Lord God Almighty, where is there anyone as mighty as you? Faithfulness is your very character. As soon as I started to read the first line of this psalm, I was seeing of the mercies of the Lord forever. I was reminded of a, a valuable CD I have in my office. Um, yep, a CD. Yeah. Very hard to even play them these days. I don't even have a CD player in my car, unfortunately, but it's a CB, a CD from our old friend Naomi Beard. And one of the songs she sings on that is, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord forever. So I'm reading this psalm and I can hear her sing it. It says, young and old will hear of your faithfulness. You're the God who's faithful to the generations. You know, when we are not to keep it to ourselves, but we're to tell everyone of his faithfulness. Everything God shares with you, reveals to you, not for you to preach it to people, but in everyday language, or you're able to share that with others. We receive to be able to pass it on to to believers, family in Hope Point Church, and others outside of our church. We are not to keep it to ourselves. You're unfailing love unfailing that's not like our love because we do fail but not god your faithfulness he says is as high as the heavens it cannot be measured and he makes a declaration you know we've talked a lot about declarations as we've been doing our devotions and maybe this season is the time to de- to declare constantly who god is and keep on doing it even after we come through this time O lord god almighty where is there anyone as mighty as you really what he's saying is there's no one as mighty as you. Full stop. No one. No one before, no one since, no one no one coming, no one. Faithfulness is your very character. The character of God we looked at yesterday was compassion, mercy, love, forgiveness. Today it's faithfulness. No matter how we look at it from every angle, you are faithful. And it is because of your faithfulness that I can trust in you. I can live my life for you. So look for someone today that you can share about the faithfulness of God in your life. And just sing a song. Put some music even to that first couple of verses. Make up your own tune. I will sing of the tender mercies of the Lord forever. His unfailing love lasts forever. Every morning when we wake up, His tender mercies are new and fresh. That's why he is called faithful. He's faithful today. The psalmist reminds us that he's faithful. The psalmist reminds us to sing to him. The psalmist reminds us to recount his love and his faithfulness and declare it to ourselves, to declare it to him, and to declare it to others. Oh, bless you today. He's a faithful God. Nothing can change his character. Just dwell on his faithfulness today. Just think about his faithfulness. Repeat it to yourself. You're a faithful God. You have faithfully brought me here. You have faithfully led me along this path. And because you've been faithful, you'll be faithful today and you will be faithful tomorrow. Bless you. Love you. Miss you.